as the evidence has accumulated, we've seen almost every area ranging from uh, physical health and strength through to uh, dementia where physical activity will significantly improve health outcomes. The recently updated guidelines have had uh, several important changes. Probably the most important is that it's led to an increased emphasis on maintaining strength and balance in addition to straight cardiovascular activity. Uh, additionally, there's some, uh, some important guidance for people who are pregnant, uh, after childbirth, and for activity, physical activity for people who are disabled. Healthcare professionals have uh, multiple um, uh, ways in which they can uh, push uh, physical activity in a way that will benefit people's health. Firstly, of course, they're highly uh, respected uh, and uh, can give authoritative advice to people based on evidence. Secondly, they tend to see people at critical moments in their lives at a point when people are prepared to change, whether it's midwives seeing people who are pregnant, uh, whether it's GPs seeing people when they are uh, feeling unwell, uh, whether it's nurses seeing people in the community. These are all great moments to actually encourage physical activity. The, the new strengthening recommendations in the guidelines, uh, which have a strong evidence base behind them, are very important and are actually uh, a significant shift from the previous guidance probably the most important uh, change. I think uh, over time we've realized that it doesn't, uh, you, don't, you can't just rely on being uh, cardiovascularly fit from exercise. You also have to maintain muscle strength. Muscle strength gradually decreases over time from middle age onwards, unless you actually uh, engage in strengthening activities. And this can, in the long run, reduce people's uh, mobility and their independence uh, and their overall health. All frontline staff are, are very pressed for time and have multiple calls in their time. And I think it's easy to forget that uh, in increasing physical activity is one of the best things we can do for virtually every area of health. So it is an area that all, all healthcare professionals, all of us, need to prioritise in our interactions with uh, patients and the public. For some adults, uh, getting more active is much more is relatively straightforward. They live in environments which uh, make act physical activity uh, easy. Others may live in an environment uh, or be restricted in, uh, by, for example, by physical disabilities in ways that make it a lot harder. And for uh, those individuals, we have to work with them to find tailored solutions to their issues. And we also, as public health professionals, must advocate for things like better green spaces, environments where people can take active transport, and other things which will help them to be able to uh, achieve their physical activity goals. The new emphasis on social prescribing is one of the ways, obviously only one of the ways, in which we can really help people to uh, increase physical activity, whether it's through things like green gyms, uh, through uh, in engagement in community activities, or a variety of other activities which are available through social prescribing. Well, I think that the summary of some is good, more is better uh, is the most important one. Uh, I think increasingly we've realised that the most important thing is to get people who have no activity to have some physical activity. Obviously, the more they can build on that, the better the outcomes will be. But even a little is a lot better than none at all.